Good morning, Graham again from KSL Driving School. Today I'm going to go through third exit trench lock heading from Horton Wood. Uh, so I'll do a little bit of commentary driving explaining what's going to uh, be done and you should be doing it every single time that you, you, you drive your vehicle. Okay. Alright, so engine on, all arm blind spec. So I'm going to indicate to let this car know where I'm going and moving away. This is coming from the test centre on Horton Wood. Then we're going to go right. So, mirror signal manoeuvre routine. Slowing down with my foot brake. I'm going to put my clutch down because I'm probably going to stop because it's a nasty junction. Looking left, right, left, right, and away we go. Turn the wheel slightly. Into the road. Okay. Right. The first thing we're going to do is roundabout coming up I'm gonna take the second exit so what lane are you gonna be in uh, to go straight ahead second exit and then what routine are you gonna be doing so left hand lane all clear then I'm gonna do my mirror signal maneuver routine into the new road and away I go building my speed up I'm gonna go left again left first exit so think about the lane and your MSM routine roughly where the road sign is just looking for a gap nice and clear so I want to keep progressing on the roundabout okay so third exit is for the sorry I'll trench so on the road markings I can see that it says trench which is the centre lane and I'm slightly breaking for the 30 now this is a good one anticipation of the lights changing back to green so I'm going to go into second gear a little bit earlier there's nothing behind me so I'm just going to let my car roll slightly and hopefully the lights will change back to green if they don't I'm going to drop into first and bring my clutch up and again they're changing to green without me actually stopping so third exit so what I want to be doing down here I've just had a quick scan of all my mirrors and I'm going to check my center on my left and that's going to progress me straight into the trench road so I'm not taking the exit on the left I'm going into the lane that says trench okay, and again I don't want to be crossing any dash lines to the right because that's a lane change So you can see the lorry in front was in the wrong lane and caught up the uh, little van and coming through into Trench Road itself. Okay, Trench Road itself, <coughs> very, excuse me, very residential. So it's all about planning and, and what's going to happen um, in front of you. So there's quite a lot of cars parked up. I can see the bus coming along cars in front of me so I'm going to start slowing down as the bus got enough room to get through so I'm going to drop to second I'm going to come through. so he's giving way to myself and then I'm going to wait for the blue car so the bin lorry can come through so quite a lot going on now I've got the bin lorry um, cars behind that obviously the bin lorry can pull up anywhere So now, this is where people get frustrated if you're in a rush, anything like that. There's nothing you can do, you just got to sit here and wait for him to come past. Obviously, the hazards that I'm looking for now um, a lot of people crossing the road, the bin workers. So, also, don't know what's behind the lorry. So, as the lorry's coming through, I'm going to assess the situation behind, make sure there's enough gap get through and still not enough gap okay so I've got all the cars in front they're gonna do one or two things they're gonna, they're gonna come through or they're gonna potentially give me a wave or flash the headlights but I've got to make sure that it is for me I can't stop them so I'm gonna check my center mirror and right mirror in case anything's coming past coming through nice and slowly just in that first gear here. So there's 
There's a bit of a gap, so this taxi looks like it's going to wait, so I'm going to squeeze through. Okay, there's enough room, nice and slowly, less space, less speed. And then the white van <laughs> pulled up. So it was uh, something unusual that you may never get on lessons uh, when well, you really have to hold that bad, bad, that position, but you still need to progress when there's a chance to do so. So it really is planning on what everyone else is doing along the way. Pull it up. And mirror check centre right and progress. Right, warning triangle, mini roundabout in blue. Okay, and there's a giveaway as well. It means it's a little bit more dangerous to the right. I really can't see, so I've eased off. I'm gonna quick look to my right and continue it. Okay, then a, a few more warning triangles. School. It's 11 o'clock, there might not be any children, but I'm constantly looking and another mini roundabout. I'm going to go straight ahead. So again, just braking gently. I'm going to go to second gear and approach. I'm going to come around. A little to the left. A lot to the right. And then increase my speed to that 30. Looking what's going on ahead, see the car coming through. So I'm slowing down just a little bit, a little gap. They're right of way in second gear. So I don't want to be stopping if I can help it. Clutch up, let my car roll. Mirror check centre right, checking for pedestrians, cyclists, anything that could be on my right side trying to overtake. And then looking ahead again, what can you see? Not a lot on this camera, but there is um, a mini roundabout. So again, it's got the giveaway. So I'm slowing down slightly and dropping to second gear on approach. You really can't see to the right here. So as I'm going through, a quick scan, nice and clear, and progress. Okay, so that's third exit to Trench from Horton Wood. Hope that helps. Thank you.